Hi everyone and welcome to Biology Professor. Today we're going to talk about the DNA test, which is just one of many biochemical tests that one can carry out in a laboratory to distinguish, differentiate between different types of bacteria. So the DNA test, which is also sometimes called the DNA hydrolysis test, is a test to detect a particular bacterial enzyme. So some bacteria secrete an exoenzyme known as DNAse, and this breaks DNA down into nucleotides. And you might be saying to yourself, why do bacteria want to break down their DNA? Well, it's not their DNA that they want to break down because sometimes there will be DNA floating around outside the cell, usually from another recently killed bacterial cell. So if a bacterial cell dies, all of its DNA spills out into the environment and other bacteria that are around may want to break that DNA down to use the nucleotides, those building blocks that make up DNA, to replicate their own DNA. Now DNA is typically too large to cross the membrane by itself, but there are transporters, like transporter proteins, for individual nucleotides. So some bacteria can produce this exoenzyme DNA, secrete it outside of themselves, where it can break down DNA that's outside in the environment, and then that bacteria can use their transporter proteins to bring in the resulting nucleotides uh, and then use them to replicate their own DNA. So some species of bacteria that can do this are Staphylococcus aureus, Serratia marcescens, and some strains of Campylobacter dejuni. All of these are known to cause disease in humans and so are clinically relevant. Now, there are two methods to carry out the DNA test, one with methyl green and one with, hydro, um, with, with hydrochloric acid. But before we talk about the two individual methods, let's just talk about how the results are analyzed because it's pretty similar. So when we're interpreting results, the bacterial isolates are streaked onto a plate. And if there is a clear zone around the bacterial streak, as there is in this case, but not in this case, this clear zone indicates the presence of DNAs. It indicates that this isolate could um, produce DNAs and secrete it and break down DNA that was in the medium. And let's talk about the two different methods. The first one we'll talk about is the one with methyl green. So there's a test auger which contains DNA for the DNAs to break down if, if there's DNAs present in that isolate, as well as something called methyl green. So you inoculate the test auger um, just by making a streak of the isolate and incubate at 35 degrees Celsius for 24 to 48 hours, and then you observe. And the way that you interpret it is you know that methyl green complexes with DNA, but not with free nucleotides. So wherever there's DNA present, that methyl green will complex with it, making the auger green, but wherever the DNA has been broken down into free nucleotides because of this exoenzyme DNAs, there will be a clear zone. And so that would indicate a DNAs positive result. The other method with hydrochloric acid is to inoculate test auger, again, which contains DNA that um, if DNAs is present, it can break down, incubate at 35 degrees Celsius for 24 to 48 hours, and then to flood the plate with 1N hydrochloric acid. Now this N stands for normality. If you've had chemistry, then you've probably heard of normality. It's a different way of describing a concentration. It's related to molarity, but it's not the same thing. But anyway, flood the plate with 1N hydrochloric acid and then wait a few minutes and observe. Free nucleotides are soluble in this 1N HCl solvent, while whole non-broken down DNA precipitates. So again, we are looking for a clear zone. 
because free nucleotides are soluble, there will be a clear zone around the um, bacterial isolate. While DNA will precipitate, so anywhere where there is still DNA present, um, there will be sort of cloudiness, not a clear zone. So that is it for the DNA test. If you're interested in other biochemical tests, I have a playlist where I have videos describing things like the catalase test and the coagulase test and the oxidase test and um, many other biochemical tests like that. So if you're interested in those, please check them out and thank you for watching Biology Professor.